I never dreamed that I would have to face the prospect of not living in the United States of America, at least not the one I've known all my life. I've never wished to live anywhere else. This is my home, and I was privileged to be born here. But today I woke up, and as I had my morning coffee, I realized that everything is about to change. No matter how I vote, no matter what, I say something evil has invaded our nation, and our lives are never going to be the same. I've been confused by the hostility of family and friends. I look at people I've known all my life, so hate-filled that they agree with opinions they would never express as their own. I think I may have, well, entered the twilight zone. We've become a nation that has lost its collective mind. You can't justify this insanity. If a guy pretends to be a woman, you're required to pretend with him. Somehow, it's un-American for the census to count how many Americans are in America. Russians influencing our elections are bad, but illegals voting in our elections are good. It was cool for Joe Biden to blackmail the president of Ukraine, but it's an impeachable offense if Donald Trump inquires about it. 20 is too young to drink a beer, but 18 is old enough to vote. People who have never owned slaves should pay slavery reparations to people who have never been slaves. People who have never been to college should pay the debts of college students who took out huge loans for their degrees. Immigrants with tuberculosis and polio are welcome, but you'd better be able to prove your dog is vaccinated. Irish doctors and German engineers who want to immigrate to the U.S. must go through a rigorous vetting process, but any illiterate gangbangers who jump the southern fence are welcome. $5 billion for border security is too expensive, but $1.5 trillion for free health care is not. If you cheat to get into college, you go to prison, but if you cheat to get into the country, you go to college for free. People who say there is no such thing as gender are demanding a female president. We see other countries going socialist and collapsing, but it seems like a great plan to us. Some people are held responsible for things that happened before they were born, and other people are not held responsible for what they're doing right now. Criminals are caught and released to hurt more people, but stopping them is bad because it's a violation of their rights. And pointing out all this hypocrisy somehow makes us racist. Nothing makes sense anymore. No values, no morals, and no civility. People are dying of a Chinese virus, but it's racist to refer to it as Chinese even though it began in China. We're clearly living in an upside down world where right is wrong and wrong is right, where moral is immoral and immoral is moral, where good is evil and evil is good, where killing murderers is wrong but killing unborn babies is A-OK. -okay. Wake up America, the great unsinkable ship, Titanic America, has hit an iceberg is taking on water and is sinking fast. Speak up.